participation with this and would love to hear from you if you would like to help us. Last but not least, Congressman Patrick McHenry. And we appreciate you being here and um, uh, the leadership that you're showing in Washington and uh, we'll give opportunities to be able to talk to the Congressman during the uh, town hall Q&A part. But Patrick, thank you so much and we appreciate you being here and give a warm welcome to Number one, we have to stop making the problem worse. 
We have to issue a cease and desist order on new rules and new regulations that harm our ability to employ people and hurt small businesses. This begins by saying no to the over 100 new regulations this administration has put in place that have an economic impact of $100 million or more. Now, on an economy of $13 trillion in this, this country, $100 million is but a subtle and small drag, but it is a real drag on small businesses. We have to stop this regulatory overreach that hurts our abilities of banks to lend to small businesses. We have to stop bad legislation, whether it's health care, whether it's an energy tax, whether it's tax increases that put in an uncertain environment for small businesses and individuals to invest in other people to grow our economy. These things are real. These drags on the economy are substantial. But in Washington, they say they're small. Well, here at home, where the rubber meets the road, they're real. We have to say enough is enough. We have to say enough is enough with bad regulation and bad legislation. That uncertainty in the marketplace means that people are not willing to invest. And it's a real burden on small businesses. And when you burden small businesses, what do you get? Fewer jobs. Less economic growth. Less creativity. Less new idea for the next generation. All these things mean that we have to stop what's happening. That's the first thing. Before we even talk about an energy tax. A manufacturing CEO here in, the, here in North Carolina was quoted in the Wall Street Journal just, just about a month ago. And he said, quote, companies large and small are saying, I'm not going to do anything until these things, health care and climate legislation, go away or are resolved. How do you feel that way? How many of you feel that way? How many of you are going to make that investment not knowing what your health care costs are going to be? Are you going to be fined or penalized if you don't have a plan that meets the national standard? Are you going to make this investment if you need to uh, employ people? No. So we have to stop what we're doing, number one. We have to restore investor confidence in our economic future. And the way we do that out of Washington is by bringing ourselves to a balanced budget. We have the capacity to do it. All it means is restraining the growth of government to match the growth of the economy. And actually just slightly less. And our economic growth will bring us to a balanced budget. And it doesn't require new taxes. By restoring investor confidence, we would say enough is enough when it comes to our national debt. The president is going to announce tomorrow night, I read in the newspaper this morning, he's going to announce tomorrow night a domestic discretionary spending freeze. Well, that sounds very nice. What the president is going to say is he's going to stop, he's going to leave at this year's budget level 17% of our federal budget. That's like your child coming home from college and saying, Dad, Mom, I maxed out the credit card, but when I go back to college, rather than ordering pizza seven nights a week, we're only going to order it six.